Today we are going to discuss a topic from orthodontics. Known as methods of space gaining. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Let's get started. So the question arises that. Why space is needed? The answer is. In some malocclusion where arch length and tooth material discrepancy is present. Space is needed to correct those malocclusion. Examples are. Crowding. Anterior proclination. Impacted canine. Curve of spay leveling. Constricted arch. Various methods of space gaining are. Proximal stripping. Proclination of anteriors. Expansion. Extraction. Distalization of molar. Derotation of posterior teeth. Uprighting of molars. What is proximal stripping? It is a method by which proximal surface of the teeth are sliced. In order to reduce mesiodistal width of teeth. Other names are as follows. Reproximation. Slenderization. Proximal slicing. Disking. Most commonly it is done in. Mandibular anterior than maxillary anterior. Diagnosis can be made by. Arch perimeter or caries analysis. Bolton's analysis. IOPA. Indications are. If Bolton's analysis shows mild tooth material more than arch length. If minimum space is required from 0 to 2.5 mm. So extraction is avoided in such mild cases. To obtain favorable overgenit overbite. Contraindications are. Young patients due to large pulp chamber can expose during procedure. High caries risk. Enamel hypoplasia. Advantages are as follows. Extraction consequences are avoided. Broadening of contact. Disadvantages are. Rough and proximal surface leads to increased plaque accumulation. Food accumulation. Carries susceptibility increases. Sensitivity. Improper procedure gives you unnatural appearance. Clinical steps are as follows. First is comprehensive planning should be done with radiograph. Accessibility and visibility should be made by initial aligning of rotation. And by mechanical separation. Interproximal enamel is removed manually by mechanical strip system. And mechanical by diamond long burrs. Finishing is done by finishing diamond burrs. Topical fluoride is applied to remineralization of abraded proximal surface. Arch expansion is one of the oldest and non-invasive method. Indications are. Unilateral and bilateral cross bite. Constricted maxillary arch and. Mild crowding. Types of expansion are. Skeletal expansion and dentoalveolar expansion. Let's talk about skeletal. It is rapid expansion by splitting mid-palatine suture. There are two types of fixed appliance. Toothborne. And the example is most commonly used hyrax appliance. Second is both tooth and tissue borne. Example are. Derise Weiler and Haas type expander. Second is dentoalveolar expansion. It is slow expansion. Effective in early mixed dentition phase. Example is removable appliance. It consists of split acrylic plate screw in midline. And retentive clasp in posterior tooth, after proximal stripping and arch expansion. Third method is extraction. It is part of orthodontic treatment known as therapeutic extraction. Most commonly extracted tooth is first premolar. But the question arises that why first premolar only? Answer is space gained after extraction can be utilized for both anterior and posterior tooth. Indications are. Crowding and. Proclination. Fourth method is proclination of the anterior tooth. Indication are. Retruded anterior. Where proclination of anterior causes increase in arch length. Care should be taken that soft tissue profile of the patient should not be affected. Proclination can be achieved by Z-spring and T-spring. Fifth method is molar distalization. In this procedure. Molars are moved distally to gain space. Ideal time is at mixed dentition period before eruption of second molar. Indication are as follows. To distalize or normalize. Mesially migrated molars due to premature mesial shift. Due to early loss of deciduous molars. Second is. Minor anterior crowding. Then in cases of. Class 1 skeletal pattern and. Non-extraction treatment option for class 2 malic Distalization can be done by following method. External approach and. Internal approach. Let's talk first about external approach. Headgear are used. They derive anchorage from cervical and cranial region to distalize molars. Disadvantage are as follows. 
It provides intermittent effect. Compared to intraoral approach provides continuous effect. Thus requires prolonged treatment time. Patient cooperation is required for timely wearing the appliance, intraoral approach. The devices are as follows. Sagittal appliance. This appliance consists of a split acrylic plate joined with jack screw. The split acrylic plate is sectioned in such a way that the tooth to be distalized is isolated and the rest of the arch is used for the purpose of anchorage. Second is pendulum appliance. It was introduced by Hilgers. It incorporated modified Nance button for the purpose of anchorage. It consists of stainless steel wire or TM a wire means titanium molybdenum alloy wire with helix. Distal end is inserted into sleeve on palatal aspect of molar to be distalized. Distalization can be produced by opening the helix sand. Forcefully engaging the distal end, it utilizes a modified Nance palatal button and super elastic nickel titanium coil spring. It is placed on buccal aspect of the maxillary molars. It produces low and continuous force. It can be used unilateral as well as bilateral distalization. Next appliance is transpalatal arch. It is used to bring about unilateral distalization of molars. Sixth method of space gaining is derotation of posterior tooth. Rotated posterior teeth occupy more space than normal. Derotation of these teeth hence provides some amount of space. It is best achieved with fixed appliance. Incorporating spring or elastic using force couple. The last method of space gaining is uprighting of tipped molars. The causes of tipping of molars are premature loss of deciduous second molar or extraction of second premolar can cause mesial tipping of first permanent molar. Uprighting can be done by springs or space regainers. That is all for today. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel. Comment below for any doubts. Thank you for watching.